Hello everybody, Darkman99 is back with Pokemon Ruby. Let's play and battle! We learn all sorts of things at the trainer's school. I want to test things out for real. Okay, so we have what looks like a nerd. School kid, okay, fine. School kid Jerry. Hey, you have a Ralts. It's gonna be a transvestite later in life. And I forgot, I'm still using Solera. I should be using my other Pokemon because Solera is a bit overpowered right now. I slacked off in school, that's why I lost. Alright, um... Let's switch out to- oh my- oh, okay, for a second I thought Rupture was the one at 1 HP there. Oh wow, 1 HP? Solera, that was a very dangerous cut! I mean, scratch that you used. Okay, whatever, um... Trainer tips, your bag has several pockets. Yes. Giving multiple pockets was probably the, one of the best things the, devel the, the developers did because um, in the previous games, you like actually they did that in second generation, but in the previous game, um, you know, first generation, you didn't have pockets, so it sucked. You ran out of space very easily. I study at school and I study on the way home, too. Wow, you're definitely a nerd. You're probably called school girl, but okay, school kid, whatever. All right, then. Shroomish, eh? Scratch you. You gotta get some more power there, Rupture. You're, you're a good Pokemon, but we got we gotta we gotta find your inner potential. Next up is Whismur. Okay, ha yeah, I had to whip out the double kick for this one because frankly, Rupture was dying out there. He got paralyzed, he has one HP left. It, it was bad, and I already used two potions on him and I wasn't gonna use another one. But don't worry, Rupture, you'll become awesome soon enough. And apparently that girl's a Raxan fangirl. Okay, Cut Guy. Okay, and we're officially done with Cut Guy. I probably won't need him ever again. Because my Zigzagoon's gonna be the new Cut Guy. As soon as we get one... I should have caught a Zigzagoon before, but I was lazy. And I'm sure I'm gonna run into one later eventually. But for now, let's just continue picking up berries here. I would use a Chesto Berry on, um, not a Chesto Berry, um, a Cherry Berry. I would use a Cherry Berry on, um, uh, Rupture right now, but we're gonna head off to the Pokemon Center. Because I believe the Pokemon Center and the Mar are the two buildings we haven't entered yet in, uh, Rustboro. So we're gonna be on our way to do that. Alright, let's give this guy his goods back. I forgot that's what we, entirely what we did last episode. Okay. Oh, and we got another Great Ball. Thank you, Mr. Devin, man. Oh, now he wants us to come with him. He teleported us all the way to the Devon Corporation's third floor. Alright. Alright. Could I get you to deliver that? Alright, so we gotta deliver that to the shipyard. The goods! Alright. Now we have a very nice chair, like, room here. Our president would like to have a word with you. Please come with me. The president is hilarious in the anime, by the way. <laughs> there was the in the episode, Mr. Stone like was like Max was like hiding from his sister. His, he was hiding from May because he broke her Pokenav, and um, uh, Mr. Stone comes out from behind a pillar and he says, "Hi, hiding from someone?" And then he pulls him behind. It looked so wrong. <laughs> it was hilarious. I'll, I'll show you that clip. I'll put it on right now. Hi, hiding from someone? Ah! I know this building inside and out, so I think it's best if you follow me. <laughs> yeah, that, that was hilarious. Oh my god, I love that. Anyway, so we got the shipyard. <laughs> okay, we got the letter. Okay, now you should know that I'm a great president. <laughs> Alright. Oh, and he gave us a Pokenav. The device, it's a Pokemon Navigator. Oh, that's exactly what the thing that Mac Max broke. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'm counting on you. Yeah, Max broke it, and he broke, broke, he broke May's Pokenev, and he had to um, go back. Um, go, and, he, and Mr. Stone helped him fix it. I'm developing new kinds of Pokeballs. Oh wow, that's a Pokenev. Yay. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm probably not going to use the Pokenev at, at all. I might a little bit, but yeah. <laughs> Talking with Pokemon. I'm trying to develop the, the dreams of Pokemon. Resurrects Pokemon, and it's working, yay! Okay, um, let's go to the trash can here. 
that's they actually did um in that same episode I was talking about of the anime they actually played off that because Mr. Stone was showing Max all these uh, different things that could like do these crazy things and it basically nothing really nothing really came about any of them none of them were working and that was also quite funny now that we are free men we want to go to Mr. Briny yes and we also want to go to the Pokemon Center I gotta keep forgetting that. In Pokemon Emerald, there's a creepy thing when you come out here. Mr. Uh, Stone actually calls you because it has a phone feature in, in uh, Emerald, and he calls you and he's like, "I'm looking at you right now from the top floor." Okay, so heal me up, please. Thank you. All right, I, I'm not gonna stick it back in the computer yet, just in case I need it. I'm probably gonna use it as a training fodder, and uh, I'll, I'll probably tell you guys what that means much later if I ever do it. Male and female Pokemon. No one has any idea how they're different. Well, you see, one has a... And the other has a... It's all about reproduction, my friend. Um, I could explain, but I'd rather not. Okay. And those people all had nothing interesting to say whatsoever. So now let's hit to the Mart, because I gotta restock on potions, and hey, there was May right down there. We gotta say hi to her. A Pokemon of old that has a lot of HP now. Oh, no. Okay. I'm buying some paralyzed heals and antidotes. Yeah, Shroomish can paralyze you. That's how, um, uh, that's how Rupture got paralyzed there. Okay, so let's buy some potions. Five should do. No. And repels! My favorite item in the game. I'm gonna buy 15 of these. Well, actually, my favorite item is Max Repel, of course, but still, this item is great. I love it. Okay. No, hey, May! Hi, David. How's your Pokemon? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. I guess he's on his way home. Anything else? Okay. Okay, I guess May's just, uh, I guess they're just showing that your rival's also traveling. And, yeah. You know, May's probably one of my favorite rivals because she's not a jerk. <laughs> I must say. Ooh, cut tree. Okay, cut guy. <laughs> I like that name, cut guy. Okay, so we got extra accuracy. Now, now we're gonna take the lo the short way through Petalburg Woods as we make our way back to Mr. Brent. Oh, right, we gotta cut some stuff so we can get some more items. Yay! And I'm gonna commemorate this with our first repel. It's okay, I have a ton. I'm probably gonna buy more uh, when we get to the next town. Hey, girl. Oh, neat. That's a badge from Rustbury Gym. Miracle Sea! We don't have any Grass-type Pokémon, so there's no point in it. Yeah, yeah, the Grass-type moves come stronger. Okay. Ooh, hey! Item. Alright, we have a third Great Ball now, which means our next team member will probably be very easy to catch whenever we find that Pokémon. I, I don't even know what it is right now. I don't know if it's anything that's going to be in Duford Cave, so... Let's see, there's Abra there, there's Geodude there... Yeah, and there are in there, which are pretty cool, but I don't think I want an R in. Anyway, that repel has served its purpose amazingly, because it ran out right at the end. Alright, so let's talk to Mr. Briny. <laughs> There's Pico, he's Jason Pico around. Baby. Hold on, lass, wait up, Pico. You're you're David, you say my darling Pico. Hey, we owe so much to you. What's that? You want to sail with me? You have a letter bound for Dooford and a package for Sleepport then. Quite the busy life you must lead. But certainly what you're asking is no problem at all. You've come to the right man and we'll set sail for Dooford. Dooford, here they come. Anchors away. Peacol, we're setting sail, my darling. Peacol! I gotta say it like that. <laughs> now. Mr. Briny's actually a pretty cool guy, cool guy in the anime too. He gives Ash and friends a ride. This is nice. You know, it's actually a good time for me to say this. Um... I actually want a boat when I'm older. Does anybody else share that desire? I would really like a little speedboat. I mean, I live by the water, so, like, I live in New York, so there's lots of water around. I live by the Hudson River, so... There's lots of stuff going on there. Oh yeah, that guy said give his regards to Steven. Steven is actually Mr. Stone's, uh, 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 son. The son of the president of Devon Corporation. And he's also some more awesome things, so... Uh, but we'll get see Steven later. And yes, his name's Steven Stone. No! Okay, wow, Bowser visiting across the... Uh, 
Brawly! Yeah, Brawly is the gym leader here. We gotta take him out. And I know exactly who I'm giving this gym to. It's a fighting gym. So we're gonna give it to Angel. It's a renowned fishing spot. Oh wait, no, we gotta say yes. Itch to fish. Okay, yeah, that's one of the fishing gurus in this area. I mean, in this area, in this region. So that guy will give us an old rod, which we will use to capture some things later on. Or maybe it's a good rod that we're gonna use. I forget. Okay, so you can do some beach combing here just for items. I don't think there's anything here, but I'm just checking. Doing a quick little round. I have a feeling there's something by that rock. I'm gonna check, test my hypothesis. If I'm right, I'll be very happy. I was wrong, so I'm not. It would be nice living on a small island. I would not mind that at all. Okay, marrying your- ma getting married on an island is probably awesome. If I had a choice, I'd probably get married on like- in like Bermuda or something. <laughs> or the Bahamas, who knows. If I had a choice, of course, that'd probably cost a lot of money. Which I may or may not have. Um, Pokemon Center, we don't need to go there yet. Like, it's hip, happening and trendy. Kind dream. <laughs> I heard that, um... What you're saying to this guy is, you can actually change what he's saying. If you say that's not what's in, then you can actually change what's in. And it could actually affect finding a Pokemon called Feebas later. A Feebas evolves into Milotic, which is my favorite water type Pokemon hands down. However, I don't think I'm going to use Milotic because one, it's very hard to catch. And I know the two Pokemon I've been catching so far are very hard to catch. So, um, but I don't want to catch Feebas. It's a pain to catch Feebas. And even so, you still need a nature that's good. Although that doesn't really matter because you could just breed it until you get a good nature. But uh, without regard to that, any of that stuff, still, Fe my, it's Feebas is a very hard Pokemon to catch, and I have a different plan for Water type anyway. Another favorite of mine. I noticed a lot of Pokemon I like in this region are Water Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon in this, some of my favorite Pokemon, Water Pokemon are Crawdont, uh, Wailord, and. Uh, Milotic, of course. Milotic's being my favorite water Pokemon of all time. Anyway, we're in a place where we're just talking to a bunch of people that don't talk to any... Don't talk about anything. And I just realized these two are actually having a, con a con uh, conversation, so I just pretty much did the same thing all over again. Anyway, away we go. Oh, darn it, we're already at 15 minutes. Oh, we got a battle, sweet. What do people do if they need to go to the washroom? What if my hook hook's a big one while I'm in the washroom? I just can't go. Then why did you take your hook away so there's no chance? <laughs> okay, so we got Fisherman Ned. Oh, I could totally give this one to Angel. Because she knows confusion, which is super effective against tentacles. Tentacool. Tentacool is so cool. And I'm confused. Great, thanks a lot. I just realized that thing's a level up from me. Can I win? Thank god Constrict doesn't do what it did in the first generation. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm glad we got that off. However, tentacles have notoriously high special defense, so... HA! How do you like that? Uh, yeah, tentacles have notoriously high special defense, so it didn't do as much as I would prefer. Oh, it didn't hit itself. Now, I'm willing to wager that I'm gonna hit myself right now. Yep, that's my luck. Oh, great, and of course you snap out of it. However, I'm not gonna snap out of it, and I'm gonna hit myself again. Just watch. Okay, good, thank you. I was hoping the reverse psychology would pay off. Now then. I should be using Double Team more often, because that is a move that is just great. Double Team is probably one of the best moves in Pokemon, hence the reason it's banned in tournaments. It's just an awesome move. <laughs> Okay, so we got Fishmeat down. Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I was not expecting that to happen. We're gonna fight this guy in the next episode. Bye guys, and a wonderful day. This is Dark Knight 9 signing out.